And I am Dr. Tim Sejong. I am uh, from Manchester, Manchester Metropolitan University. I'm a director of uh, Creative Augment Real Realities Hub. Okay, and uh, we are doing a number of uh, different AR research at the moment. And this conference, I think, we presented especially um, the wearable uh, augment reality, because so we've done project with the Google Glass augment reality project uh, with the Manchester Art Gallery. And we looked at um, how uh, this Google Glass could be used for uh, cultural learning experience. So how, how actually wearable can be used to enhance the um, learning experience in the museum and art galleries. This project is uh, started from the, our mobile project, mobile AR project in 2013, which was um, Dublin AR project uh, in collabor collaboration with the Dublin City Council and DIT. So we, we did uh, some uh, develop some AR mobile based application uh, in one of the urban heritage trails in the Dublin city. And after one year, uh, we looked at what's next. Then surely it's, more, it's wearable. And, um, and one of the wearable uh, devices uh, available in 2004. 14 was a Google Glass, which was um, uh, lots of video attention. And then we decided to uh, do some project, exciting project in, uh, with the Manchester Art Gallery uh, at the uh, heart of the uh, digital revolution, I suppose, Manchester will be. Okay? And, and we worked with a um, uh, glass developer in America. So, uh, that's how we started uh, this uh, Google Glass AR project. We did a number of different experiments. And uh, make it very short, what we found was um, within the controlled environment like uh, museum and art galleries, I think Google Glass uh, device actually is quite useful for learning or get some further information about art objects. So actually, you could get some further information about painting itself. Okay? And um, actually, you could get more augmented information from there. So we, look, we looked at some particular learning framework. And overall, it's quite uh, positive uh, in terms of uh, they, they get more pay attention to the uh, paintings. Otherwise, unless if, if they haven't used the Google Glass, they may just ignore and just pass. But you know, it's quite useful. Tool and overall is positive uh, learning uh, tool. I think uh, what I see here is that augmented reality is um, there are lots of buzzwords at the moment, okay? But actually, it's not really you know industry. They didn't kind of invest at the moment. Why? Because what I see is that because of there's no you know business model. I mean, there, there is a business model, but actually in, uh, industry will invest when there is a, some financial kind of a return of investment or tangible benefits. So uh, I think our next kind of a step or current project is developing a business model where uh, try to link the experience in uh, art gallery or museum and link that experience to uh, actual shops or restaurants. So, I mean, research normally focuses on their perception experience, how good was it. But, I mean, we need to really look at link, you know, the experience actually uh, contribute actual financial kind of a, a contribution to the business. So I'm looking at some augmented reality idea and also a little bit of a virtual reality as well. But if you could uh, mix a uh, multi-sensory idea and um, if you have a very really good uh, experience and if you remember something and then sometimes you could um, you look at a painting and uh, yes I want to re reserve this painting I, if that kind of postcard is available in the shop then maybe I want to buy or you know I want to buy now for example or the particular artist you know enjoyed some food or particular coffee or drink or whatever okay and then if that can be linked to the cafe, then they will drink, for example, they have a really nice coffee, but also they will reflect you know, their experience in the art gallery. Possibly artists may have this kind of a cup and drink. So it's try to kind of 
mix and link all the experience and um, and and also financial side. I think that 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 I believe that is a loss of opportunity. Okay. So far, we just look at the experience side, maximize the experience. But augmented reality is really good tool to bring to life. Now, question is, I think we shouldn't stop there. We should go one step further, and um, we need to look at really business model. So that's why uh, we are developing that model, and uh, we are currently uh, talking to one of the bank in a, it's a mobile payment solution in a possibility. And actually, we test the model whether it's going to work or not. And especially, I'm interested in the uh, rural cultural heritage context because urban context, you know, you've got resources, you know, finance, and you've got human resources, people, technology there. But in rural area, it's all it's quite they need a help. So I think we are particularly interested in how this AL could be. Uh, uh, useful for kind of business model and try to have all the small business around uh, uh, like the museum art gallery but mainly you know we, we want to use cultural organization in the heart of that kind of rural area and food culture music all that can be can be linked together if they have a really good experience in the museum and art gallery but those kind of objects could be linked to local shops business Okay? And therefore, the, the kind of knock-on effects. It's not just coming to have a great experience, but also they want to actually see you know, what they can do after their experience. And, and I think it's, it's a very people, small, medium size enterprise in, in the rural context. If people visit museum art gallery, if they come to our restaurant, our farms to buy further products. So, and also, when I look at the uh, augmented opportunity, uh, especially in the shop, in the, in the museum, okay, if they have a particular food is uh, linked to their experience, but also their ingredients are coming from the local farms. Okay? And this is the food which actually uh, ingredients are from local farmer A, B, and C, D. And also, if you have a short kind of a video clip, how it is cooked by local you know, cook, okay? Then I think it's going to make a whole very memorable experience, and then they they may come back again. And I thought this idea about some 3D printing, for example. So you have really good experience, but if you can produce something, okay, after your experience through the augmented reality, and then if you produce something, uh, some object which you can, you are actually take part in that production stage. So it's like a co-creation process will be involved. And then if you can produce something uh, uh, which you want louder than any uh, souvenir which already you know, made by you know, the museum and art gallery, for example, then I think they will remember. Okay? And they, that can be triggered the uh, intention to revisit again, for example. So I'm looking at all those areas. I think there are some lots of opportunities in the future.